Basses and Galatea is one of those pieces that doesn't really fit into any of the Handel um, boxes. It's not an opera, it's not an oratorio, it's not a cantata, it's all three of those things. Uh, it's not an opera in Italian, which is what he mainly wrote. Um, it's certainly not an oratorio in English, because it's a dramatic piece, but in the English language. He wrote it, we think, first, um, when he was slightly out of the limelight, staying um, at the country house called Cannons, just outside London, as it was then, um, and uh, really enjoying the countryside and enjoying uh, uh, a good uh, collection of musicians, wonderful musicians. But he came across this English libretto of Aces and Galatea, and we think set it then. And it was certainly then later performed uh, in the 1730s, when um, uh, the whole Italian opera thing, which, let's face it, was an extraordinary, um, and a whole extraordinary event in the history of music, um, was coming to an end. Uh, but he had been doing opera in Italian, in London, for getting on for 30 years. And that always strikes me as completely astonishing because the, for, the, the, the subject matter was foreign, the singers were foreign, the language was foreign, and the audience, I can say this, English audience, um, was slightly philistine about all those things. And yet they lapped up this Italian opera product because of the singers. And there were some spectacular singers brought in from Italy. And they were like rock stars and they earned like rock stars and they behaved like rock stars. And eventually Handel got fairly fed up with this and was drifting more and more to working in the language of the audience, which made some lots of sense. And so he dug out his Aces and Galatea from um, 1717, 1718, and brought it to London. And uh, it is the most glorious little piece. It's, it is dramatic. It is short. You can do it in a concert system as, he, as we did, we will, and he did. Or you can do it on stage, as is often done, and I have. Uh, it has a small number of characters, marvellous chorus writing, uh, some e exceptional orchestral some, um, instrumental writing too, i.e. it fits the MOB bill perfectly, and it, we think it's a great way to start the season.